Papa, cut away, cut away, cut away. My name is Michael Kojo Tieno, human rights activist come defender, a resident of Oma Bay and a citizen of the Republic of Kenya. Uh, it came to my attestation that on 10th May 2023, uh, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya did not comply with the provisions, express clear provisions from prima facie evidence on recruitment of members at the Tax Appeal Tribunal. Whereas the powers which had been conferred upon the Chief Justice, she relied on an old law instead of a new law, the Tax Appeal Tribunal Amendment Act of 2022, whereby Section 4, 4B states that while appointing the members to be at the Tax Appeal Tribunal, they should not be less than 15 and not more than 20. And as per to the Kenya Gazette, dated on 19th, have it here with me, dated on 19th, 19th, uh, 19th May 2023, that is uh, uh, Gazette Notices, uh, 6285, 6286, and 6287. Uh, Excellency, uh, the, 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 the Chief Justice appointed 20, uh, 22 members, which is contrary to the dictates of the law. Ah, no. uh, I've, said, I've stated that there were two gazette notices, that is 6285, uh, three gazette notices, 6285, 6286, and 6287, whereby members of the board who were appointed were 22. The other ambit is that she relied on a wrong provision of the law. And if you look at the judicial, uh, judicial officer's code of, code of conduct, uh, that is uh, rule, uh, rule 3.5, uh, talks to, uh, states that a judicial officer shall ex exhibit respect to the rule of law, comply with law, avoid impropriety and appearance of impropriety, and act in a manner that promotes public confidence in the integrity and impartiality of the judicial service. That one definitely clearly indicates that the CJ did not comply with the law. The second habit part of it is that on the professionalism and courtesy, that is rule 12 of 1, states that a judicial officer or any other officer in the judicial service shall ensure that his official and private conduct uphold at all times the dignity and the integrity of the judicial service by conducting himself both officially and in private in a dignified, honest and impeccable manner. So anchored on those rules as read together with Article 73.1, uh, Article 73A, which talks about public trust to be exercised in a manner that uh, vest in the state officer the responsibility to serve the people rather than to rule over them. That one clearly indicates that if you've appointed more people than the expected number, then definitely you want to have power to rule over them. The third ambit uh, is about the national values and principles of good governance anchored in Article 10. Uh, that is, uh, uh, the rule of law is there, uh, impartiality is there, uh, we also have got uh, democracy there and human rights. Those persons who had applied for those given positions and did not get the opportunity to, 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 be, uh, to be appointed, then definitely defeats the cause of justice. Hence, uh, the cadre which has been placed, and uh, this one was anchored in one of the rulings of the Supreme Court, whereby the judges unanimously indicated that uh, the preamble of the Judicial Service Code of Conduct Ethics based on Section 5.1 of the Public Officers Ethics Act Number 4 of 2003 provides that the code is intended to establish standards of ethical conduct of judicial officers to be applied consistently with constitutional requirement. That is a legislation from parliament. Hence, makes her unfit to hold public office.